Yo, what's going on, sexy Samuel? Let's go today. We're here doing a break. What we wanted is Try Hard Friday, and it will be the last Try Hard video of the week. I had a lot of fun playing Try Hard all week. And uh, you know, we got to rank one in the world off this week, just just doing try hard for one like doing try hard videos for one week. I didn't even stream this week really, so it's straight up just got rank one off the videos itself. You saw my climb from descent into into godlyhood, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh like I said, I had a lot of fun doing it and I'm looking forward to it. I picked Fenrir because I played him on stream. I had some fun with him on stream. I also left up Oleron and Hebo open, hoping he would pick one of them. Because it would be easy for me to win if he picked one of those characters. But he didn't. He picked Apollo, which sucks for me, but also it's fine. Because I'm just going to go the norm. I hate that it always buys that item. Um, but yeah, it, it sucks for me because he can just mez my three. Which is a little bit shitty. But maybe if I go first item Jotuns, actually, instead of Berserkers, maybe I can actually get the cooldown online needed to max my three and him not be able to mez it every single time. I don't know the cooldown on mez. I believe it's like 14 seconds. What's the cooldown on my, on my three? 12. Okay, so there's a small period of time. There's a small period of time where I can actually hurt him with my three. So maybe it's worth maxing my three in general. Tier 1 Berserkers is 650 gold. Tier 1 Jotuns is also 650, I believe. So I should just be able to sell this and get Tier 1 Jotuns. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I guess he paused because... Oh, he said no way. <laughs> I was going to say, I guess he paused because he wanted to go look if I was streaming or not because I know a lot of people do that. Um, But I will say, a lot of people don't know this. Because they don't come to the Twitch chat. They don't come to my Twitch stream because they think that I record on Twitch. They're going to see the same thing on YouTube that they would on Twitch. It's actually not like that. I record completely separately. I, I don't stream my recordings. I record all on my own. And, um, and then I stream completely different games, right? Like, so if you guys want more content... All right, there's the maze. All right. What'd you get? Gilded Arrow? If you guys want more content, do not, uh, do not hesitate to stop by stream because that's, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, that's what I do over there. All right, this should be free for me because he used his one on the wave. It will be hard for me to get over there, which is, you know, the truth, but who knows? Maybe it'll be fine. Your middle tower. Oh, I really, really, really expected him to be at my blue buff. I thought he gave me red because he was going to try to get double blue control, but he didn't. He just gave me red because he was scared I would kill him, I guess. And I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever helps me get the lead, I accept. Go back. I'm just going to buy a chalice. Just going to chalice it up. I couldn't afford tier 2 Jotuns, so screw it. Grab my chalice. I'm a little bit ahead in XP just because of the fact that I got the two buffs and he got uh, XP camp in blue. I don't know the difference in XP between an XP camp and a buff camp, but it's got to be significant considering he's still level 4 and I'm almost level 6. He does have beads, so my ult won't really do anything. But I should try to get it. Now, I would love to dive here. But, uh, that mez is going to do me dirty, huh? Alright, he's back. And he's more than likely going to ult in. I'm not too scared at all. Because he has beads as his relic and not an actual fighting relic. So I should be completely safe. Okay. Yeah, pretty much exactly how I expected that to go. He ults in on me. I let him do whatever he wants to do and then I kill him. Unfortunately, the whole 
last part of that sentence where I actually, you know, kill him didn't work out, but I poked him out and we got him pretty far gone at the moment. I didn't even have to use my shell. I'm using my two right now because it'll give me the last two runes I need for my stun. And obviously it doesn't cost mana when I'm in my fountain and the cooldown will be back up by the time I actually need it. So everything adding up. You do not have your itch of all yet. I'm going to use my three while he's, uh, while he's stunned for my one. Because it pretty much confirms two or half of the damage. Great. He's got to back all the way out. You are not getting any of this experience. And I want to clear the wave. Um, I'm going to ward the blue. I want to go get my Jotuns. I'm not going to get the upgraded Jotuns. I think I'm going to save that for Breastplate. He does have Itch of All, so be careful. He's bringing, he's bringing the heat right now. He is bringing the heat. Oh, you're dead. Nice. Okay. He panicked. He panicked there a little bit. I mean, you can't really blame him. You can't really blame him. I. The, the main thing you do normally when you get taken up by a Fenrir is you use your movement ability right when that all drops you. You know, you're trying to get back to where, to where you got picked up from and not get shit on by the ult. But unfortunately for him, he doesn't have teammates really to back him up. So, uh, him dashing just gives me free reign to use my three. Actually, I mean, not even quite really, because I'm using his dash. I still couldn't use my three, but then he panic mezzed, which is actually what got him killed. <clears throat> I am just clearing. Doing casual clear right now. Casual clear. Man. What if I use my three? Damn, I actually got three hits off on that. That's pretty good, man. All right. I really want to dive this. I'm dead. No, not dead. He 100% is going to ult me here. I'm going to hide. I'm going to hide right here. See me? Oh, fuck. He saw me. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, his med is down. His med is down, baby. He tried. He went for it. A respectable play, man. He went for it. That was close, actually. I didn't have to use my my shell, so I wasn't like super close, but it, I mean, hey. Again, it's just a misplay on the med form right there. Not the med, I'm sorry. The uh, mez. Man, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of dedication or discipline to not dive me right there. Takes a lot of discipline not to dive that, that 100 HP Fenrir. Although I assume he knows that I have shell up, so. He's less immediately turned on to the fact that he can maybe get a kill there. I want this red buff. He is here. Oh, damn it. All right. I want to level up my two. Obviously, but <laughs> we have a we have a Roomba <laughs> running around right now, and Appa is scared shitless of this thing. He will run away from it and hide in his bed. He just runs away from it and hides in his bed. He's so cute, but it's so funny watching him. 
Like he'll he'll run over and jump up by me and make me pick him up because he's so scared that it might be coming his direction. <laughs> he's staring at it in its its little home because it <laughs> because it completed the job. Dude, ever like I think Appa for the next like week is gonna be terrified of that thing turning on and wreaking havoc on his house. He walked up to it and is smelling it now, dude. You should see. I wish I could show you. I can't turn the camera that much, but Oh my god. He's so cute. Alright. What's up, Apollo? Alright. With max cooldown, I feel very, very aggressive. Nice. I didn't really have to do that, I don't think, but tower down, massive. Okay, hold on. I got to hit the tower once, apparently. Next item. I'm probably just going to go. I mean, 45 power. 20% pen. I want to go Aussie. I want some healing. Some attack speed, some healing. It's good, but I thought Titans was 35 power. It being 45 power is actually really nice. 45 power, 20% pen. That might be an item I pick up a little bit more in the future. I will say though, 45 power, 20% pen for 2,500. When serrated is 100 gold more, it has 20% pen on it too. 10 less power, but also 10% life steal. And then more power overall when you're using your abilities. Serrated kind of feels like a better Titan's Bane. I don't know. Maybe Titan's Bane can work out. Also, I'm thinking I'm just going to go do Bull Demon. I just realized, like, I've been kind of crapping on him. Like, I'm 2,000 gold up, 4 levels up. <clears throat> but, like, low-key, he's kind of holding his own. I don't even have his Phoenix down. <clears throat> All right. Pushing the tower, huh? Your middle tower is under attack. How about no, sir? All right. I guess he just wanted to alt. <laughs> I walked up to him. The second he saw me, he just alted away. I don't know. I don't know. His build doesn't really have much sustain. It's not, you know, uh... I guess I can't kill him there. That's fine. But his build doesn't have any sustain, and he's not, like, that tanky, so... I don't know. He's got some stuff he's got to work out with the, with that build. See if I can get killed there. I'm scared. I'm so low HP, dude. <laughs> I am Greed McGee right now for sure. Nice. GG, my boy. GG, Tex. Alright. Cool beans. That's game number one. I had 3,000 gold almost just sitting there. He said, fucking hell. <laughs> what, what a response. What a response to GG.
GG, my boy. Oh, fucking hell, dude. <laughs> that's, that's respect right there, boys. That's respect. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the uh, in the next game. It's, just, it's so funny. I just don't, I want to see if I got number one in the world again after that. I did. 3206. Number one's 3200. Nice. Maintaining, boys. I will say, though, once I, like, lose a couple in a row, I'm done. I'm done caring about it. Yeah, I'll see you guys in game number two. <clears throat> What's up, boys? Game number two. It's a Bass Step Mirror match. That's AIDS. Um, I will say, I, I saw comments, at least a few of them, about, uh, like, Sam, I don't like your tryhard videos because you just play the same gods over and over and over. I just want you to know, one, in my tryhard Thursdays, the whole point of it, like, the, literally the entire point of the video is to play gods that play my best gods so that I can win on my try hard days. That's just the point of it. So if you don't like it, that's fine. But saying that I only play the same three gods this entire week is complete BS because I've played, uh, I've played so many different gods. I've played so many different gods in, uh, in this week of try hard. So, I do not, I do not subscribe to your complaint. Nor, like, I will take constructive criticism, but, uh, but not, not that criticism. <laughs> I missed. All right, hold on. I'm getting shit on, I'm getting shit on early game. What? Are you going Runeforge for a item? Does that even work? Ow. Oh, you are not winning this fight, my dude. Now I'm going to go straight for the red buff. I know he can see me, so it kind of sucks, but... He's actually just giving it to me. Nice. Very, very nice. Alright. I don't know how we actually came out on top there. Maybe it was the fact that I had a butt-ass ton of pots. Like, I had two HP pots and two multi-pots, and he only had two HP pots and one mana pot. So, maybe it's that. Or... Maybe it's just the fact that he gave up the red too quick. He tried to fight uh, at a bad time for the red buff. And we ended up catching it. Alright. He's got his jump. I can't just... Never mind. Alright. He beads. He beads. Nice. Got his beads. He loves starting beads. This is the same person who I fought last game, by the way, in case you're wondering. I know a lot of people don't pay attention to names, but it's kind of hard not to pay attention to names when you're the one that's playing. Um, <clears throat> this is the same guy as last game, so... Started beads in that game, too. I'm not saying starting beads is bad. I mean, obviously, beads just saved his life there, but in terms of fighting potential, like actual boxing, we're both hitting twos, we're both hitting ones, both hitting threes, you know, shit like that. Obviously, Shell's gonna come out on top, so... As much as I think beads isn't a bad play, I don't think it's the best play. Which is good for me. I mean, just means that I feel like I'm in a better spot than he is. Hello, that scared me. Resulting? I juked it. Easy. Uh, I used all my abilities to clear the wave. He used all his to hit me. Is that clear? Kind of. All right, am I scared of you? Absolutely not. Nice, okay. I had to go silent because like <laughs> my, my brain, 
my brain cannot talk and follow up a jump immediately with my jump in the exact same trajectory that his is all at the same time i gotta do one thing or the other i can't do both so i decided i decided that getting the kill was more important to me personally at this moment and i went completely silent while waiting for him to jump <laughs> But it's okay. It, it paid off. We got the kill. All right. You're going to use all your stuff. I'm going to not really care. You have bees. I'm going to also not really care. My ult hits you. You're stuck in the puddle, dude. He's stuck in the puddle. Let's go. He got stuck in my ult puddle because minions body blocked him. That damage actually does a lot. That quicksand damage. Um... I wish I could see like what it did. I think it's just it just counts as my alt, does it not? My alt hit him six times for 270 something damage. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Oh no. Oh no. Oh he traded. We traded. You know what? It's not the greatest. It is not the greatest because I did get the red buff. However, it could have been worse, and I will take what I can get. I'll take what I can get. I, I, quite honestly, I greeted for the red buff and for the wave. I should have just gone for one or the other. I got greedy. I deserve the death. The best thing for me is getting the return kill. I'll take it. And, you know what's really good is, uh... I actually died before I got the kill. Which might sound stupid. But the reason it's good is because that would have been my third kill. Which would have put me in a killing spree. Which means I would have been worth extra gold and extra money. Or extra gold and extra XP. To him if I got that kill first. So me getting the uh, me getting the kill second is actually really beneficial. Is your blue up? What are the odds you actually... Yeah, 100% apparently. I got the blue. Not scared of you. I'm Garbs. I'm Garby. I'm Garby Barbie. Damn, Bastard's damage is so high. For no real reason. Like, it should not be that high, but it is. I have Soul Eater finished now. He is going into Beat Stick. I'm also going into Beat Stick. You might be. Asking yourself, why am I going into Beat Stick, even though he has no lifesteal right now? The reason is because Bastet's passive got changed. And at level 20, he gets fucking 30% lifesteal on uh, on gods. So, 30% ability lifesteal, I think. I'm dead. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Soul Eater, save me. Alright, Soul Eater did good shit. Um... No, I lied. I get 15% lifesteal against gods. And then I get 15% ability lifesteal against gods. Nice. Oh, that two didn't kill. I, I stopped chasing because I thought that two would kill 100%. My red buff spawns shortly. I have 680 HP. How much is this two going to give me? 930. That is so much. Bro, I am a miner. You shouldn't be skull fucking me. Oh my god. <laughs> relax, relax, my guy. Jesus. If you're a miner, you shouldn't say things like skull fucking. My goodness. This might be too fancy for me. All right, let's grab this. Um, I, I wouldn't beat stick, like I said. My second item, or I guess my third technically, is going to be Jotun's. Maybe it, maybe it shouldn't be a Jotun's. Maybe it should just be Breastplate, because I have 10% cooldown from Soul Leader, so. I don't need to build. Like, I can't build Jotun's and Breastplate, so I should build... Probably just the breastplate. And then like a Hydra's. I 
Amazing. Alright. He lived through it. Do nice jumps and whatnot. Actually almost lost that fight. I do have shell. Did you do your blue? Didn't. All right, I got scared. I got scared. I'll be honest. I had to hold my breath a little bit there. When he showed back up and didn't just let me back, I, I thought he had a master plan. I thought I was dead as hell. I thought there was no way I lived through that. His damage is so good, by the way. I think it's because he's hitting me with his three, which is giving him Runeforge passive while I'm slowed from his three. And then he's just shitting on me with Runeforge. Is your two slow? Does anything else slow? No, it's just your three that slows. But it, I mean, that's hell of a Runeforge proc. Really nothing up right now. It's so hard. Like, the, the main problem, I think, with Bastet games is it is so fucking difficult to get tower. Uh-oh. All right, that was good damage. That was good damage. And then this jump right here will heal me back to full. We actually back. Nice. So I get, I'll get tower here. And yeah, like I said, I went Crusher instead of Jotun's because I want to get Breastplate for my cooldown. And not to mention, um, I know a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually only go one glyph item now. With this new patch, you're only allowed one certain glyph for character, and I want my glyph to be my breastplate gly glyph. He has beads. I don't know why I'm surprised. I literally, that was the first relic he had. Did he? Oh, he died to my two. I thought he died to Crusher. GG, dude. GG, my boy. All right, that's uh, game number two down. Both against Tex. I hope game number three will uh will be interesting again. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's up, boys? Boys, fighting an Oleron. I'm playing Bay and Lona. Sorry, I just opened a YouTube short. <laughs> Poncho. I think I fought this guy yesterday, and I beat him, and he reported me. Came here to take names. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was a different person. Who's with I don't exactly remember. I know I beat somebody yesterday twice in a row, and then they got mad and reported me. I want to say it was Poncho, but but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not going to throw him under the bus if I don't absolutely know. So, obviously, Tainted Seal will be, be good here. Gilded Arrow would also be good here. I am going to go... With the tainted you steel. Kidding about the firepower. I'm gonna go with the tainted steel. Um and I guess I'll just start this. I don't know. I'm a little confused as to what to build when I don't fight a physical god. Because I'm just like in my brain it's just like berserker shield, berserker shield, berserker shield. That's all I think about when I pick <laughs> when I pick warriors. <laughs> Play berserkers. Ouch. Proximity sensor placed. All right. Can I have these? Oh, he got one of them. That's annoying. He also has mannequins. Um, I win this fight, right? Hmm. I guess I maybe could have won the fight. I think if I had Gilded Arrow, I do win that fight, actually. That's unfortunate. I maybe should have started Gilded instead. Am 
My damage is kind of dookie cheeks. Oh my god, he's full HP. You don't need luck when you have a 50 caliber gun. He is full HP. But I'm going to go Witch of All, obviously. Slow his attack speed a bit. Um, and then I'll probably go into Talisman of Energy. Which is going to give me that attack speed and move speed that I want. Obviously, Pestilence wouldn't be bad, but... You know, sometimes it's not about that. That knockback he has is going to be extremely obnoxious throughout all game. And he's still just pushing wave. Your middle All right. Is under attack. This will be annoying. This will be a very difficult game. But you know what? That's what I signed up for. Keep a lookout. They're disarmed. I should not have up down. I should have altered away probably. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh my. Oh my. His damage is incredible. He clears wave instantly and then also has mannequin scepter and all that healing from his three and his Bracer, or uh, uh, his three from his, the healing from his three and his Bancrofts. God, I don't know why I couldn't say that. Definitely one of those games where I'm going to have to probably get shit on early game and then make a comeback late game. But making a comeback late game against an all around does not sound fucking easy, man. Jesus Christ. Shipping ain't easy. That damage, man. That damage. I had shell. I could have maybe used shell. I guess he crit me once or twice there. Because he, he did back and he got his Bancrofts. He's going to be 700 100 gold ahead. Two or three levels ahead by the time we make it there. I don't know about this, dude. All right. The kill was very, very good. Proximity the kill was placed. very, very good. Am I? Re oh, nice. Okay. I was going to say I really wish this blue spawned and it spawned just in time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thankfully, my alt is on a lower cooldown than his. So it allows me... It allows me to be kind of weird about things and alt in when I probably shouldn't be able to. Like right now, right now I can't fight him because he has alt and I don't, right? He just let that hammer smack him, which I do not agree with. Oh, you are lucky you lived through that, my dude. You are very lucky. Oh, God, I'm lucky too. Holy shit. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. He lived through more than I thought he could. He's so tanky. We traded kills. So interesting, man. So interesting this game. Your middle tower is under attack. But I got the XP for that. Um his alt is down. My alt is down too, but my alt comes up faster than his. Which is great.
Disarmed. Man, that Midgard. He already got a full Midgard. I'm gonna need a hastened. This should kill, right? Perfect. Okay. I was a little bit concerned if my, uh, if his Midgard was going to keep me back that much to where I wasn't going to be able to get the secured kill there. Because if I don't get the kill there and I use my ult on that, I am in a bad spot. But thankfully we got the kill, which is huge. I'm going to go this, and I'm also going to go Sprint as my second Relic. I'm not even going to wait to see what he picks up. I just think Sprint is going to be massive. Um, it's going to help me get rid of that Mid-Guardian effect on me. And it's not going to help me too much with his... Uh... Hold on. Please, please, please. Oh my god, I actually got red through his ult. I got red through his ult, dude. All right, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm feeling pretty good. All right. I can't kill. I can't kill. I will need an XE and I'll probably need a Toxic Blade as well. Oh. Please live. Oh, let's go. I did not know if I was going to live through that because I tanked so many tower shots. I took 11 tower shots. Holy shit. Thank you, Sprint. Thank you, Sprint. I'm going to need a Kins, but I'm also going to need a Toxic Blade. I'm not really sure which one I should go first. So I'm just going to go Toxic Blade first because I know that's... 30% attack speed, whereas Kins is 25. I don't have a lot of power, but like I said, I, I'm just going to kind of focus on going Ace and Katana, Kins, and Toxic Blade and letting that do everything for me. All right. Um, <clears throat> There's not much here. I'm really surprised he just like lets me have these things like blue buffs and shit because he honestly shouldn't like he really never should let me have this stuff you should alt this because if you don't I'm going to kill you there you go you're dead Perfect. Dude, these fights are so weird. I don't know. He's... He played so well using, like, all of his, uh... All of his movement techniques early game. Like, using his three well and, uh... Making sure he's ulting at the right time in order to get kills or live or something. He did that so well early. But now, I feel like he's kind of shitting the bed because... He lost his lead, right? Like, he... I got, I finished it, all got a kill, and then I finished Talisman, got a kill. I just think he's scared, maybe. Mm. Really do not heal anything at all. Nice, my red buff. Alright. With that red buff. With the red buff and popping the sprint. Um, his midguard wasn't able to slow me down. I'm obviously fast because of my Toxic Blade giving movement speed and my Talisman giving movement speed. Not to mention my passive. So, uh... 
I can just keep up basically like I have hastened with my sprint active. And we win the game. He dies. He surrenders. He loses red. So everything, everything's all good in the hood. Good game three. I'll see you guys in game number four. What up, boys? Last game of the day. More than likely, we're 50 minutes in. So probably going to be the last game of the day. And uh, I'm playing a little bit of Schmilgeschmeisch, and he's playing a little bit of Vulcan. It is Poncho again, my boy Poncho, coming in clutch as always. He was nice, by the way. I definitely mistook him for someone else because he was he was nice at the end of the game. He he said something like, "Dude, you've always been the best. I'm glad that you're back on top," or something like that. He he. I mean, he's the king. He's the king. Poncho, the man. Don't ever disrespect my boy. I do want to go Jotuns because I want to kick him. Um, and I also want to go blink because I want to kick him. I'm going to do it. I don't care. I mean, it's probably a bad play. I'll be honest. But blue stone into Jotuns gives me more power kicks and more kicks in general. So I'll take it. I'm ready to kick some ass and take some bubbles. Oh. Uh, your cooldowns. Hatred is like nice. I just want to get the minis. Oh, he beats. Nice. My blue stone is really carrying right now. I feel my blue stone really carrying right now. He's just going to go do blue. I respect that play. I respect it. He's probably a little bit spookied. A little bit spookied because I just jumped on him and went full aggro mode. And, you know, no one wants that to happen to them. It's fucking terrifying. So I got red. He got blue. He's, is he going back to wave or is he doing XP camp or what are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, I guess he went. I guess he probably did XP camp, right? Because like. It took him a long time to get that blue if he didn't. Please. Medic. Okay, hold on. Oh, he died to Arches. <laughs> I was like, all right, what I'll do is I'll back up. I'll back up and I'll wait. And then eventually, eventually I'll be able to uh, use my blink. And then once I get my blink online, oh, also perfect, perfect level five item to pick up. But I was just going to back up and then use my blink to auto him. And the minions were like, nah, bro, hold that blink. I got you, my boy. I got you. <laughs> Thanks, minions. You real ones. Oh my god, my damage. He altered the wave. He didn't kill all of it. In fact, he only killed two minions. I think because I was... I was so aggressive that I pushed the minion wave back. Like, my minions went forward because his minions were aggroed onto me. Good stuff, dude. That's good stuff. Ouch. Nice. Holy. Dude. The damage output right now. That's insane. Like, that's just insane. There's nothing up on the map yet. And I have minions pushing under tower, so not really losing any XP right now. So I'm just going to grab, I'm going to wait and grab this tier two. And I could go Shoguns. I was actually going to go Shoguns this game, but because my level five item picked up the tier one of Bulwark, I'll probably just end up going Talisman instead of Shoguns. It's less attack speed by a lot, but it's fine. Fine. He has beads, so I cannot lock him into my alt anymore. I 
Unless you died it. Nice. He ulted wave, but his ult was not even strong enough to kill the wave. Because he started... Um, or he stopped... He stopped building damage and started building defense because I was doing so much damage to him. His ult was not even enough to clear the wave. I'm 1.4k ahead. This is feeling really good. This is feeling like a really good start to the game. I was scared when we loaded in because like... I mean, can you blame me? Vulcan is a hell of a character to try to beat. Ouch. Ouch. Um. Oh, man. Jumping on him and then activating the one, even if I'm not auto-attacking him, is really nice for damage. I missed it. Oh, but I got his, uh... I got his beads, actually, just now. He altered the wave. I cannot fault you. Interesting. I'm gonna go Toxic Blade again. I know that he's gonna build Life Steal. I mean, every mage builds some form of Life Steal because great mage items have Life Steal on them, just straight up. Like obviously Bancrofts, and then you got Polynomicon, you got Spear the Magus. There's just so many good uh, mage items that have Life Steal. So I do need another kill this game so I can get that. Next part of my passive online, but I guess it can wait a little bit. It could also just straight up do old Like I'm genuinely not scared of him. My damage output is horrible though. I assume he's going to alt this. Alright. Damn, he actually stopped going his chrono spinner all together. And went straight into uh Stop going his chrono spin all together when the breastplate. I get my kill with my ult because he doesn't have beads. Pick up red buff. And then I start clearing this tower. Oh, and that kill actually gave me tier one kins, which I do want to build this game, so. Damn, my uh my passive really got my back this game for sure. Hit the jump auto, but it wasn't enough. That is unfortunate. Oh, that didn't kill, dude. No. How much HP does he have? I can't believe that didn't kill. That's insane. That's insane that that didn't kill him. Um. All right. Anyways, I'll just go Toxic Blade. I I don't know. I kind of just want to go Kins. I also kind of want to go Aussie. He has no anti-heal, so Aussie's going to do nice. Never so Aussie's going to be nice, and I am going to go beads for my second item, or my second relic. Reason being, I don't like the fact that he can just knock me up whenever I jump on him. It's annoying. Not it's not like it's too much of a hassle, because... I mean, it's not like every time I, I jump on him, I need to kill him, but... It would be nice to not get knocked up every time I jump.
All right, he got sprint. He altered a wave, but nothing died. Or did I have a wave before that that did die? And a nice little 500 damage there. Let's go, dude. Sick. We actually killed him and he surrendered. Nice. That was game four. And honestly, I don't actually think that was the last game. I thought it was originally going to be the last game. We're only 57 minutes into the recording. And I think because that was my fourth game, that's about 12 minutes cut out. That's only a 40 minute video. I would like it to be about 50 minutes normally for the Try Hard Thursday. So I'll do one more. We'll do one more. All right, boys, welcome back. Last game. And uh, I'm going to end it off in the fight against just people. how I want to, man. A little bit of Sukiyomi. I love this character. Everyone knows that. I have a lot of fun playing him. I did not change my skin. I'm the Mystic Moon. I'm playing Poncho again, dude. Right, everyone. How many times am I going to play Poncho? <laughs> it's okay. He's been very nice to me, so I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I am going to start with a mana pot because I always have mana issues early game with Tsukuyomi. So I'm going to try my best to kind of nip it in the bud. And I don't know. Dude. Are mana pots worth it? I feel like they're, they're suck. I feel like mana pots suck. Oh, shit. He's going the meta Hades build. With Polly and Boombas and everything, I need to win this game fast. I need to win this game fast or I am completely and utterly fucked. I'm down to just keep poking. I am down to just keep poking. Oh! Damn, not enough to kill. Not enough to kill. Because of how aggressive I was being just now, I actually split up the minion wave and he couldn't one hit it. You can't run. Huh? Yeah. Alright, sorry. There was just an editing editing mishap because I played some Elden Ring off stream and Shiv couldn't find a part that was important to edit in. But we found it. Don't worry. We found it. We found it. We as a collective whole found it. <laughs> Damn it, he did my blue. I mean, he has Boombas. Like, I can't really compete with his buff blue. Oh, God. Hey. He's tanky. I mean, I don't really do damage till I have Runeforge online, to be fair. Even though I have uh, red buff. This is going to be a hard one, man. Guide my Watch your step. Wish I could ult him here. Those villains won't see what's coming. He's a little bit ahead in gold. If I clear these, do I get ahead in gold? Eh, not really. I mean, I'm like one, literally one tick of gold ahead of him. You can't run. I don't want to fight you. You have alt and I don't have beads or anything, so. All right. 
Oh. Some big stretching. There's nothing on the map to farm right now. All the buffs are gone. All the XP camps are gone. Look so I'm just sharp as ever. sitting in fountain waiting. Your middle tower is under attack. Watch your step. All right, cool. I'm feeling pretty strong now. He probably is Book of Thoth now. He does. Okay. But my damage, though, it's there. It's there. Very nice. I got a little bit scared that I was going to fuck up the one and then drop the kill. But. When I get scared like that and I think I'm going to fuck it up, I just take an extra second to aim. <laughs> just a little extra second. You know, if it drops the kill, whatever. But throwing that ability before I think I'm ready to throw that ability is going to drop the kill regardless. So I might as well take the extra second. And prepare myself. Hey, but first blood goes our way. Which is amazing. I'm super excited. Don't do my blue, you son of a bitch. Watch your step. Moonlight, guide my blade. Damn it, he did it. I am gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you for that. You know that, right? Oh no way. Nice. Thank you, Shell. Alright, now can I do your blue? You already did your blue, damn it. Damn it. Gonna go get my Yotens. Sharp as ever. My Jotuns get some potions. His ult hit me for 500. But my two twice hit him for more than his ult hit me. I'm actually cool with it. He does have tier 2 breastplate online, so... He is going to be probably a bit tankier than normal. I will need a beat sick this game. I don't know if this is smart. Okay, never mind. I know exactly if it's smart, and the answer is yes. Yes, it is. The reason I didn't think it was smart is because I thought he had ult. <laughs> I, th I thought he was going to ult, and I was going to look mega stupid. And uh, I just get kind of kind of shit on, to be honest. I thought I was going to ult, and then he was going to ult, get the extra protection so my ult wouldn't kill him, and then I'm just stuck under tower in his ult like a dumbass and die. Thank God that didn't happen. All right, there is still nothing up. Kind of a Kind of a boring farm game, but at least the fights have been kind of intense. You can't. All right. Those villains won't see what's Real quick, coming. can I get this blue? Nice. That's actually huge. If I can cut his XP off, that is so big for me. Only because. Only because of the fact that I, uh, are you aging? Oh, you are. Okay, that's fine. 
cut his his XP off is so important for me because he has Boombas. If he didn't go Boombas, I wouldn't really care, but I cannot let uh Boombas Hades get late game. Hello, scary demon boy. I'm dead. Okay, I clearly did not need the shell, but he scared me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> he kited me around for so long, I genuinely got nervous that he was actually getting his cooldowns back up. So I shell. Looking sharp as ever. Second relic, probably going to be beads, but I don't want to commit too early. Um... Obviously, beads is really good for when I get caught out by his alt, but maybe I can get like Sunder or something, or even like a horrific. Oh, maybe there's just something better than beads for me here. Now he doesn't have alt, and I do have alt. So going under tower might not be a bad call. Never mind. Look who has ult. Nice. Very nice. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm terrified this game. <laughs> I think that I am under such time pressure this game to end before he gets level 20 that I'm making like kind of erratic moves the kind of erratic plays plays that you sh you sh most certainly should not be making but i'm doing them because i feel like i have to mm, he is cool down i'm a big old baby Hell yeah. Killed by the 3A place. You know what's kind of funny about that kill is if he just didn't move, he wouldn't have died. <laughs> he had the option to just not move and he would have lived completely. But there's something in you, man. I'm telling you, there's something in you that's like, you can make this play. No matter what. No matter how far behind you are or... How far down in levels or anything like that. There's something in you that just thinks, oh, I can make this play happen. And then it's what gets you killed every time. Luckily for me, uh, I actually end up pulling off the play most of the time. So I don't look as ridiculous. But I promise you that I do the same dumb shit you do and just for some reason it works for me most of the time I did go Hydras by the way I don't really know if Hydras is a good play here okay. I mean you are most certainly not killing me here Nice. GG. Thank God. I put enough pressure on him and had enough winning fights to where he didn't think that he could make it to level 20, so he surrendered. That's going to be the end of it, man. That's the end of Try Hard Friday. Uh, and concludes the end of Try Hard Week in general, putting us at 3266 MMR. Number one in the world safely by... Uh, Never mind. Not number one in the world safely. Apparently, I'm number two in the world. But whatever. Either way, really good. Really fun week. It's awesome, dude. I, I, I really enjoyed doing this, and I'm glad that you guys wanted to see it too, which is more interesting to me that you guys picked having one one-hour video every day rather than two normal videos every day of me tryharding. But I guess it makes sense because the flow of the video is better everything is kind of meshed together right so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it
If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, liking the video and subscribing to the channel in the year of 2022 does lead to charity money uh, at the end of the year. So, you know, by subbing and liking, you are helping charity on this channel in the entire year of 2022. But, like I said before, hope you guys enjoy the video. And until next time, guys, peace.